Okay, my dear friends, so today I want to talk about scales. It's a very simple topic and yet could be quite complex if you don't know what it means to play scales correctly. And I'm not even going to go into fingering because of course uh, one needs to know fingering in order to play scales. I want to talk about mechanics of the movement when you play scales. So first of course you need to have fingers and fingers need to be very strong. Uh, and secondly, you need to make sure that your position is kind of classical position with round hand and all you can do just put your hand on the kneecap and then pop it back on the piano. The next thing you need to make sure that this bridge is engaged but also something called senior muscle and hypersenior. Now I don't want to scare you with terminology so you can think about this as um, chicken thigh is it calls this muscle by the way as a wall of the house and another wall of the house and this is a roof and a logical question would be what would happen if the roof of your house collapses everything will collapse what would happen if one of the walls of your house would collapse everything will collapse and exactly the same important for the hand so when you play it's very important to have this position and this position takes time to build and again that would be a separate video on this topic but right now we're gonna go again at what's required in order to play scales so you need to have strong fingers you need to have engaged um, bridge senior muscle hyper senior muscle and then very important you need to have flexible wrist why because without wrist nothing can happen think about wrist as a movement as a wheel in a car if we want to go to the right we turn it to the right if we want to go to the left we turn it to the left i'm going to give you the example and I want you to try it at home, don't take my word for it. Let's say, let's take for example the simplest scale ever. Well, it's not the simplest actually to perform beautifully, but it's the simplest in terms of it has no sharps so or flat, C major. So we play C major scale. We have our position, we have strong fingers. Now let's do experiment. First we will play it with the wrist exactly in the middle. It's not gonna help us, it's not gonna prevent us from playing. Now let's try to play with the wrist behind the fingers. And now let's try to play with the wrist leading our fingers. And you would feel and you would find how much easier it is to play when the wrist leads the fingers. However, that's not that. Because if you just play like that, you will start to experience tension. And tension, this is something we must avoid. And because with the tension, nothing is going to last. Think about going to the gym and doing push-ups. If we don't relax the muscle, we're gonna get tired pretty soon. So in order for us to relax um, the hands and get it a little bit um, of kind of free time, what we need to do, we need to do tension and relaxation. And think about making this kind of shape with your wrist. So you lead in towards the top, but on your way, you're making circle of movements. When you come, start playing uh, down, you're gonna lead with this part of the wrist. So you can, for example, choose a point on your wrist. And that's gonna be point you're gonna watch. And then you're gonna lift and down, lift and down. And this would be the first thing I would invite you to try when you play scales. Forget about speed, because if your basics are not right, it's not gonna work well. So again, 
you lead with your wrist and you're making circular movements once you've learned that and you've learned the basics then you can try different things uh, for example you can try playing staccato but only as a practice because to play staccato like this you really need to have very strong forearms is not going to help us with the wrist movements it's only for working on the strengthening our fingers there are many other ways of doing it but actually we will do a separate pose for it because i wanted to talk to you about fundamentals so the fundamentals are your fingers then the strength position of your hand and relaxation of the wrist. In terms of sitting position, I like, this is maybe a bit low for me by the way, but I like to have 90 degree angle. So your wrists are not too low, not too high. So it's on a level, actually it's quite good. It's quite good this position. It's just someone else was sitting on this chair before me, but it's, it's quite nice. And I would really say, um, take the first five scales and try to, really cultivate that beautiful plane so the scale sorry try to activate this beautiful plane so the scale sounds like a piece of music and that would be step number one in learning the scales